I have a digital pen problem. There, I've said it. Ever since I got the Surface Pro 4, I've been on the lookout for alternatives to the Surface Pen. I really like the Surface Pro 3 pen. Since I'm a note taker, not an artist, I really don't care about things like tilt sensitivity or latency. What matters to me is the feel on the screen, the noise of the pen and the functions, like the eraser and the lasso select. The Surface Pro 3 pen had two buttons on the side, one for erasing and the other for right clicking or lassoing content depending on the app that you're in. When the Pro 4 came out with a new pen, it had an eraser on the back and it was a great pen with a magnetic attachment, four times the battery life, 12 months up from three months, and a new pen tip system. But I actually missed the Surface Pro 3 pen a little. People love the eraser on the back of the current Surface pen. It was actually a stroke of genius the way the Surface engineering team designed it. I remember one of the Surface pen engineers telling me that they had an aha moment during user testing of that pen. One of the user test group was using the pen on the Surface Pro 4 and they turned the pen around and erased something from the screen and then wiped across the screen to remove the leftover bits of eraser that they automatically just assumed were there. Even though I hate the modern use of the term, it's really what you might call intuitive, meaning that it worked just as they expected it to. But once you've used a digital pen as long as I have, you start to realize that improvements can be made with a digital pen when you break free of what you did with the physical equivalent. It's actually much faster to erase using a hardware button on the side of the pen, requiring only a small movement of your fingertip compared to twisting the whole pen 180 degrees. I mean, the 180 flip is still much better than erasing with the Apple Pencil, most of which have no erase function at all, but being able to erase, a very common thing when you're creating in a digital space with just a slight finger movement onto a hardware button that you can feel, that's the ultimate in speed and control. So when the Pro 4 pen ditched efficiency for skeuomorphism, I actually was a little disappointed. So over the years, I've tried lots of alternatives to Surface pens. We've done some videos on pens like the Wacom Ink Bamboo Smart Stylus, the Adonit Ink and Ink Pro, and the Adonit Ink M. When I see new ones online, I often get them in to try out. A number of them have had multiple side buttons, just like that original Surface Pro 3 pen, but they've always been let down in some other way. Most, for example, did not have that magnetic attachment point so that they don't stay on the side of your device. Some had quality issues, cheap plastic feel, and hard, noisy plastic pen tips. I got this weird little one from Amazon the other day. On the box, it says S Pen, even though it won't work on my Samsung Galaxy Note. On the product itself, it says that it's an eye pencil. It has no buttons at all, no eraser, and no magnetic attach, but it does work on the surface. It's also got a proprietary charge connector. I guess it's actually trying to be an Apple Pencil. Yuck. I give up. Surely there's a pen that gives me the efficiency of that Surface Pro 3 pen, but with the magnetic attachment and the great quality feel of the Surface Pro pen. But then, a couple of days later, this one arrived. Now the box says it's a Rena pencil. It's made by Renaza, and the product name is Raphael 520. It was recommended to me by Justice from Tablet Pro. He's been singing the praises of this pen for a couple of years now, and I've had it sitting in my Amazon shopping cart for nearly a year. But even with his recommendation, I still had little hope for it. I mean, I've been let down by so many pens with promise. But I eventually got around to ordering the pen from Amazon, and as usual, it arrived quickly. As I took it out of the box, it felt solid in the hand, and I noticed that it had a pen tip that looks identical to the standard Surface pen tip. It immediately felt good on the screen of my Surface Studio, Looking closer, I saw the two-button setup that I'd wanted back since the Pro 3 pen, and then it magnetically attached to the side of my studio. It's a rechargeable pen, which seems like a good thing, but this pen needs to be switched on by pressing the right-click button, and that is actually a bit annoying. The Surface Pro pen turns itself on and off by using an accelerometer and a timer. At least this pen does turn itself off, like the Surface pen, after about 10 minutes of inactivity. There is a visible LED indicating that the pen is on, it charges via micro USB from the top. About 15 minutes of charge and it was full and I was happily using it. The Surface Pro pen is rechargeable too, of course, but it maintains its charge whenever it's tucked away in its keyboard slot. So you never really have to think about it. And that's really the only issue that I have with this pen, having to turn it on and having to charge it. But hopefully it's not a showstopper. The other thing that this pen has is tilt sensitivity. Now, I don't need that personally, but none of the other Surface Pen alternatives that I've tried 
have had that function at all. Upon checking, I found that it actually does use the same pen tips as the current Surface Pro pen. So replacement tips like these also fit in this pen. And in the box, there's actually a set of three harder pen tips if you prefer a harder, faster tip feel on the screen. There's also a USB cable for charging. There are several versions of this pen and it comes in a number of color options too. There's a version that works on the Surface and even mimics the first generation iPad pencil. I also picked up one of those and I tried it on my iPad mini and it works pretty well, although the buttons on the side do nothing because it's an iPad. And there is a newer model also with a Bluetooth launcher button, just like the Surface Pen. So this is the first Surface Pen alternative that I'd consider superior to the Surface Pen for note taking. That is apart from the minor annoyance of having to turn it on. It's half the price of the Surface Pen on Amazon. It has a great button set up. It feels great and it attached onto the side of my Surface nicely. So if you're considering a second, a backup, or maybe a replacement Surface Pen, I'll leave some Amazon affiliate links to Raphael Pens below. By the way, we make a small commission when you buy using our links, so feel free to support the channel by using those if you can. I purchased this pen and all of the other pens apart from the Adonit Ink M, which was sent to us for free. And that's also the case for all of the products that we review and discuss here on the channel, unless we say otherwise. I'll also leave some links to our other videos on Surface Pen alternatives in the description below. If you'd like to see more videos on Surface, digital note-taking, whiteboarding and more, subscribe and hit the bell and we'll see you next week.